Hey guys, it's Diane with Real Three High Priestess. This is a reading for Virgos, July 2019. Let's jump in and see what's going on. What love for you, Virgo? Spirit and Angel God of the Most High, put you cards for Virgos. What's going on for my Virgos? Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. You're moving on from some partnership. I feel like you are showing yourself more love, though, here, Virgo. That's what you're doing, okay? <laughs> I feel like You're kind of looking at yourself right now at this moment with the king, with this knight of swords here, okay? In some way that... You kind of need to change the energy that is coming in towards you. That's what I'm saying, okay? Someone that may be self-centered and sloppy. Okay, and what they do and bring in a lot of confusion <clears throat> or conflict of the mind. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, I feel like you're deciding to choose between a situation, something you're leaving in the past, you're looking towards something better. I feel like you want to enjoy your life, okay? You want to see growth and it's an expansion. That's what I'm saying here, okay? I feel like you're putting your love in the right places though. You're not taking on more than you can carry. You're not taking on a burden, okay? You're moving with love still okay but i feel like you are dropping the load or dropping other people's crap okay you're done holding the world on your shoulders that's what i'm seeing okay that's a very beautiful card actually this queen of cups here You may have a water sign here, someone that's very loving. They may be psychic themselves or have some psychic energy. They are shy. That's what I'm seeing with that Queen of Cups, ew. Okay, go for it. You're... Mm -hmm. You're dropping some shit for this person, whoever this is. You want to have this person in your life. Ooh. And you're clearing out things and clearing out space to have them. This is either someone or this is yourself. <clears throat> this is yourself I'm seeing here. I feel like there's someone here as well. Okay, let's take a look. People are gonna be jealous. Let them be jealous. The clock says 444. Okay, you're protected in this path that you're taking here, Virgo. Okay. Forget what everybody else is saying. 
let's see how this person sees you. All right. Put a lot of thought into this, okay? <sighs> this person feels like it's their turn, okay, to have something good in their lives. That's what I'm hearing, and they're going for it, okay, and they're coming in to claim it. That's what I'm saying, okay? Ooh, it's gonna be a little hard, all right? To pin. <laughs> To pin down and that's what they're saying that's what i'm hearing okay there's that ace of pentacles here in reverse it seems like they love something that they weren't happy with this may have been something that a relationship that they ended okay or a relationship that stressed them out in the past that's what i'm saying here okay but they saw a pattern with whoever they were dealing with and decided to move along that's what i'm seeing here okay i feel like they brought positive change into their lives though someone is either, someone your lover is either going through a transformation or has gone through a transformation in their life okay this may be a scorpio that is here they're like it's my turn to have it but will they take it? I feel like they will, okay? There may be some hesitation here. I don't like that Ace of Pentacles there in reverse. <laughs> What's the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse? As this person moves along, I feel like they may have some worry with money, with that pentacles being there, okay? Ready? With it representing that how this person is feeling or thinking about finances or money. There may be some worry there or some concern on how they're going to make moves or move forward, okay? Especially with the seven of pentacles being here, okay? Them wondering if the seeds that they have planted, if, is it enough? All right. I see they want to move. They see opportunity in the relationship or in this. Um, yeah, in the relationship. That's what I see. Okay. <clears throat> and it's something that they want. Let's go ahead. Let's look at this. Let's get another deck. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. What is Virgo's lover's intentions towards them? They still have money problems or a poor attitude towards finances, okay? This may be something that they were experiencing when they were younger or even now. I feel like financial 
or finances <clears throat> and their stability in it is something that um, they pay attention to, okay? Something that, <laughs> Lord, seriously, they're not sure about it, okay? And their thoughts are kind of unrealistic. They left something in the past, okay? It may have been a partner that they were with. They're moving along in their life, okay? At the heart of the matter, they're like, okay. All right, I'm going to go in this direction, um, but there's still some growing pains. That's what I'm hearing here. The car just flew up. What is that? All right, got the Knight of Cups here. Actually, I'm gonna put that over there. <laughs> okay. They may be in a rough situation right now. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And they're not sure of how they're going to get themselves out of it. I don't feel like there's some fighting or aggression. Some of my Virgos may be going through that, okay? Some disagreements or arguments. But I feel like your person, your lover, okay, may be fighting people that are around them. These are outside forces that are around them, okay, that they are trying to fight back. And they're unsure about this journey that is ahead of them. Because they, thank you. So they remain hopeful, okay, with that star card there. I still like, I feel like they still have this love connection with you. They still have this emotional uh, connection and they're very hopeful for the future, okay, to move out of a situation. That's what I'm saying, okay? They're looking towards success. They're looking towards this action, them taking action. It's like he's holding a world in his hands. Like I got the world in my hands. This, and the clock said one, two, three, four, shut your mouth. Okay, so you're on the right path. For some of you guys, it doesn't feel that way, but it doesn't always feel that way. So that's what that is, okay? Let's look at your obstacles quick. What are Virgo's blocks and obstacles that they're faced with here in July? and learning, like letting go of control issues and past life relationships. This might be, I feel like it has something to do with you and uh, your person. Your person may be having issues with past life relationships or uh, letting go of you too, energy from that. But I feel like you guys are going to really try to adopt this forgiving and learning and move forward look at the angel guiding him like it's okay all right reconciliation so you're going to be releasing a lot of people just releasing situations look at him shaking hands for well, i forgive you the damn cards are speaking to you okay and the clock says 14 14 so yeah you guys are going to be moving along letting go of situations that <laughs> you're like why am I trying to control this shit I'm finna let this go okay so I can be what you, I, oh my god I just feel like you have a very deep connection with whoever the hell you're up against up against I said up against lord because it said thief you feel like somebody stole something from you here Virgo Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't fight it, okay? I feel like whoever this is, 
<clears throat> you're going to reconcile with whoever this is, okay? That may be standing in your way or standing in your path or take, taking up too much of your mental energy, okay? In whatever way that is. Maybe you guys are trying to keep a past lover away. Some past life relationship, somebody you're connected to here. You're standing up there like this soldier, okay? That's what that is. <laughs> Pleasant pastime, okay. And a sincere friend. So whoever you're connected with, I feel like this can be something that you or your lover is experiencing right now. Just letting people go that don't fit in anymore, okay? Let's see what the like, possible outcome is for you here, Virgo. The sun card is out. It's out. You guys are going to buy these great cards for Virgo. What's the likely outcome? And the sun is still out. The likely outcome is reading for Virgo. It's still out. <laughs> I feel like it's still going <laughs> It's still going to be good, okay? Mm. Some of you guys are celebrities. You're shining just like the star that was there, okay? In your mind, you're going to clear it. It's going to get clearer what you need to do to reach your goals. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? The dark card here. I don't think that came out in reverse, actually. Whatever it is, I still feel like you're going to let situations die off here. Someone you're not feeling anymore. Someone from the past. Yes, it's going to be a sense of renewal. You're taking the lead. Look at you. You're standing behind your family. You are calling in. I can't, I can't say the word. I can hear it, though. Yeah. You're calling in this happiness, the happiness. That's what I feel. Okay, there's a word. I just can't catch it. Okay. Someone <clears throat> or some situation, whatever you felt a lack in here, Virgo, as I'm looking at this five of pentacles. Yeah, this does look like a total V on top of it. Anyway, I don't know why I'm looking at it like that, but I feel like you're letting go of stuff, letting go of a partner, letting go of a past relationship, someone that you needed to uh, release out of your life or release out of your mind, okay? In order to move forward, that's what I'm feeling here. I'm always saying karmic situations, it may... It doesn't necessarily have to be a karmic situation, okay? But it does let me know that things happen for a reason, and this is a lesson that you learn some type of lesson. I'm always feeling that when I'm seeing the judgment card here, okay? Letting me know that this is your awakening. One more card for Virgo here. So more opportunities are going to come in as well look at that but these are future opportunities it's going to be in regards to your finances to take care of whatever you're building here that's what i'm seeing it's still going to be beautiful it's going to be beautiful that's what i'm seeing okay yes Okay, Whew. let's get a message for you here. Let's 
Here are the image guys that are most likely to be in a car is for Virgo. So be bold, be courageous. It reminds me of the strength card. That's what this card reminds me of, okay? Letting go of control issues. <laughs> Let go of your limited thinking here, Virgo, okay? A vision or an idea is coming about, okay? Don't worry that it's uh, too much. Trust in what you perceive and what you feel. Trust in your intuition. Trust in your gut instincts, okay? Even if everything seems to be in shambles right now, I feel like it's going to work itself out. You're moving in stages here. 14 to 15, okay? I was 15. This is 14, <clears throat> okay? Going beyond normal. You are thinking things out, like I said in the beginning. You, It's like a clock probably not ticking like that but it's saying you may have pressure around you from the world because you're a star okay rules deadlines work finding something you are moving outside of the plan okay you seem normal but you're very eccentric take care of yourself okay you're being told here Virgo to step out of fear and live freely okay yes that is your reading virgo for july 2019 thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading give me a thumbs up for this video like subscribe and share this video for me okay hit that notification bell I'll be back with more readings for you guys okay i love you take care of yourself bye